So how did you decide to write that book? Your Well, I had been very active in my group, New York Radical Feminists, and uh, one day a woman in the group brought a, a, one of those alternative newspapers, one of the women's alternative newspapers, that were all over the country in those days, brought in a copy of it. And it was a report on a hitchhike rape that mm. uh, a young woman had been going on her way to go to her first women's liberation meeting. And she hitchhiked and uh -huh, the guy in the truck raped her. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, she turned around and went home. She had a boyfriend. The boyfriend said, so did you like it? <laughs> then she called uh, the women's center in Berkeley and said, I couldn't come to the meeting tonight because I, I was raped by a trucker. And they said to her, uh, would you come to our office and we'd love to tape record you? So they did. It was, the newspaper was called It Ain't Me Babe. And, what uh, was it called? It Ain't Me Babe. Oh, yeah. Bob Dylan. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they ran this interview with her and uh, my friend in my consciousness raising group, Frank Brothers, brought it to us and threw down the paper and said, this is going to be our next big issue. Now, I didn't feel that because I have the traditional uh, so-called liberal uh, opinions on rape and, you know, I was worried about a white woman falsely accusing a black man. That's what I had learned. I said, no, it's not rape. I mean, uh, I mean, rape is political, you know, when uh, I was confused, but I, thank goodness there were people in my consciousness raising group who weren't confused. One woman had been uh, victimized by a hitchhike rape. She had gotten into a car going from the college she was visiting to her own college, and the guy said, do you mind, I want to pick up a buddy of mine, and then he picked up several buddies, and then she was raped. And when she reported it, she was a very calm person. When she reported it, the cops said to her, oh, who'd want to rape a nice girl like you? I mean, so she, well, this is the first time I'd ever hear what was going on out there, because I was smart. I wouldn't have gotten into a car like, you know. Mm -hmm. So I was convinced uh, that night that uh, there was something there that I didn't know. Uh, and in fact, in the beginning of the book, I say, I wrote this book because I'm a woman who changed her mind about rape. I used to believe all these myths and misconceptions. So uh, I spent the next four years doing that. I'm very proud of it, really proud of it. But of course, I also knew that I'd peaked at the age of 40 <laughs> because you don't get a, I, it, with me, I'm such a slow writer. I never learned to touch type. Uh, <laughs> but you, you've written what, like six, I have six books? Up, six up more books, yeah. Uh, Can you talk but, about some of them? Well, I love them all, but uh, I knew that I would never have a subject as uh, original as this one, as big as, as this one. You know, I knew that uh, we in the women's movement had discovered rape, really discovered it, and I was very lucky to be there, to be there, and, uh, and also to, as somebody said, you spent four years writing a book? Wait, he was a guy in advertising. He said, in advertising, if a campaign doesn't work in six weeks, we junk the ad campaign. You spent four years. I said, well, I found this whole history of rape that nobody had ever written about before. It was so exciting. Um, so I knew that, uh, that when it was published and I was 40, I wasn't this young kid, I was 40, uh, but I knew that I, that, that I was so lucky to have uh, been in on the beginning of the uh, anti-rape movement and to have the skills, because I was a journalist, uh, to have the skills to write about it and to find a home in the New York Public Library where the librarians <laughs> would point stuff out to me. Like I'd say, I want to look uh, about rape in World War I. They said, oh, it's filed under blah, 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 atrocities. That's what it was called. But it was in the library. You know? 
so it and was then a great you time. ended up in the library in the New York Public Library book as one of the best 100 one of the uh, most significant books of the 20th century that's amazing yes yay it was a hundred <laughs> books right and they chose a hundred books yeah and I made amazing. the list 